Hey, we're here back in the shop at Fat Fender Garage and we've got a 1956 Ford F100. No, this is not the one that caught on fire, but it looks just like it in color. So pretty cool. It's a Y block. We've kind of pulled it out and we're going through it, cleaning it all up. We're going to put it back in. We are going to put an automatic transmission on this and get it overdrive working with the Y block. So we've got an adapter kit that we'll purchase to make all that happen. Cleaned up the motor, uh, painted it, and a couple of features we're adding to it is one, we're going to add uh, power steering. And so we got a power steering box that we purchased from CPP and we're going to get that installed. So we're pulling the column out right now as we speak, just so that we can uh, get it out. And when you pull the column out and you do this, like the whole thing has to come out through the cab and then we got to cut the bottom of the worm gear off so we can start putting this on. And another cool feature that we're doing is we're getting rid of the original drum brakes on the front. A cool product that we're using is by Wheelwood. And so I'll kind of show you what it does is it allows you to use the spindle. If you come over here and take a look, you're going to use your stock drum brake spindle right here. And then you're going to slip this piece on here and you're going to get that pressed on there. And then that creates the new spot that you need to install their disc brake set. That's a pretty cool product without having to, you know, take out the king pins and go through all that stuff and put the disc brakes on. So I'll show you what it looks like on the other side. We're kind of in the middle of this one, but it's an awesome kit by Wheelwood for your 1956 Ford pickup truck. If you want to do a disc brake conversion, this is the kit that I, uh, I like the most. And so we'll go take a look at it and you can see it's on the other side over here. And so you can see we've got uh, this one installed. You've got your Wheelwood calipers installed. It's got a little about 11.9 inch uh, vented rotor and so we've already got the new bearings and everything all greased up and in ready to go so all we got to do is get our power steering in and uh, we're going to be ready to drive this thing hopefully in a couple days one thing we are going to do is we're going to make a new front runner kit we're going to work in uh, conjunction with all american billet uh, we're going to take this y block over there we're going to come up with an actual serpentine belt system made for the y block to do your alternator your AC compressor and your power steering pump. That's gonna be pretty cool because there's not a lot of good kits out there for the guys with the Y block. It'll be available in like a, a polished or a, um, a milled finish or even in black, uh, just a regular black finish. So uh, we'll hopefully within the next two to three weeks, that kit will be all figured out and designed and ready to go and have something that's good and durable for the Y block guys out there. So uh, Y blocks are still cool, I like them. It's just not a lot of good parts out there for them. And so, uh, with these 56 F100s, guys still like to use the Y blocks. Hopefully, we'll have a kit for you guys that works a little bit better. So, anyway, stay tuned and we'll do a little follow up video when we get done. Thanks.